I take my hat off to Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez. If he felt he fought Oscar, how old was he? At how old, how old was he? He was like 37. No, no, he was 37 when he fought Oscar. He was a little bit younger. Oh, well, do your homework. Look it up. <laughs> look, it, look it up. I need y'all to look it up right now. Tell me what was his age, and tell me what was my age when I fought Canelo. I, I got the age. It's 36, and Oscar was 25. And so, how how old was I when I fought? Uh, Canelo, I think about I'm about thirty about thirty six, right? Thirty six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see the difference. Uh, right? yeah. you know what I'm <laughs> so you see the difference. I have a Floyd Mayweather clip, right, where Floyd Mayweather was trying to bring the comparison to Chavez Senior versus Oscar De La Hoya, and they try to flip the script and say Canelo yeah. was too young when Floyd Mayweather fought him. Floyd Mayweather right. tried to bring a comparison that I brought up in the past, which is Chavez Senior versus Oscar De La Hoya. And Floyd asked the reporters, he said, I take my hat off to Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez, a, a legendary champion. He fought Oscar, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, if he, if he felt he fought Oscar, how old was he? At, how, how old was he? He was like 37. No, no, he was 37 when he fought Oscar. He was a little bit younger. Oh, yeah. Well, do your homework. Look it up. <laughs> look, it, look it up. I need y'all to look it up right now. Tell me what was his age and tell me what was my age when I fought Canelo. And then they said, oh, they talk about these fighters, all these fighters gonna be, end up uh, uh, beating more world champions than Floyd Mayweather. You guys had a hundred and some fights, 200 and some fights, 70, 80 fights. They'll still be more world champions than all y'all. Eventually y'all will be more world champion if y'all keep giving these guys these cupcakes. You know, y'all got this guy fighting that cru cruiserweight, even though, I mean, I like, I want to see the cruiserweight guy. I got, I, I got the age of 36 and Oscar was 25. And so how, how old was I when I fought uh, Canelo? I think about, I'm about, 30, about 36, right? 36. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see the difference. Uh, right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you see the difference. And would you believe a reporter from old media lied to Floyd and told Floyd Chavez Sr. was 36 and Oscar De La Hoya was 25? A complete lie. Because Chavez Sr. was 33 years old. The whole world knew this. Chavez Sr. was 33 years old. And Oscar De La Hoya was 23 years old. The same age as Canelo Alvarez when he fought Floyd. And Floyd was older than Chavez. Right. Three years older than Chavez. He still beat the crap out of Canelo Alvarez. We all saw what Oscar De La Hoya did to Chavez. He retired right. Chavez. I mean, he beat the crap out of Chavez. That's why a lot of the Mexican fans hated Oscar De La Hoya for that because he had beat the supposedly the legend Chavez Sr., right? The greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Right. Well, guess what? Oscar De La Hoya did it at 23 years old. But when Canelo is 23 years old, oh, he's a baby. Now he's a baby. Even though he said, I was born ready. Are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> born ready. And we're ready for tomorrow night. Well, we all know in our reality, he was born ready to make excuses. He was born to duck. He was born to cheat and take PEDs. That's the reality of the whole conversation. But what we don't talk about is, you know, we, oh, Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Steroids, steroids, steroids. Y'all don't talk about that. So we don't know. We really don't know all the fighters he beat. And he was like, what? what? He could have been not clean in a lot of fights. Do you think he was clean the night he fought? Well, I, I, I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know. That's y'all. Uh, uh, this Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Oh, man, this kid was it's a cakewalk. Kid, easy. I'm just tired that, you know, a lot of times people send me these stories about, you know, what the, the media write about. And, I mean... Yeah, do do racism go go do racism go on within the sport of boxing? Absolutely. 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 For the reporter that lied to Floyd, if you don't know the answer to the question, you're supposed to listen and get informed. You're not supposed to lie and misinform the public. If you don't know shit about boxing, you're supposed to listen and get informed about boxing. You're not supposed to say something right. and misinform the fans about boxing. So this reporter, he obviously has an agenda. He completely lied to Floyd to stop Floyd Mayweather from making his point. But even then, Floyd Mayweather still made his point because Oscar De La Hoya beat Chavez anyway. If Chavez was 36 or 33, but the reality of the situation, 
Oscar De La Hoya was 23, the same age as Canelo when he fought Floyd, and Chavez was 33 years old, three years younger than Floyd Mayweather, and Oscar De La Hoya washed Chavez Sr. Just to show you guys how special Floyd is. We saw Larry wash Muhammad Ali when Muhammad Ali was 36 years old, but Canelo couldn't even be a little grandpa Floyd Mayweather. It tells you straight up how special Floyd is and how old media continues to say, oh, well, prom for prom, who gonna win? Really? If Canelo failed to beat Floyd at his worst as an old man when Canelo was in his prom at 23 years old, how is he gonna beat Floyd Mayweather at his best? Canelo is the greatest fantasy fighter. Canelo Alvarez and his fans are the greatest at fantasy world. Oh, if he would have fought Andre, he would have beat him. But he turned down 40 million to fight him. Oh, if he would have fought Floyd in his prom, he would have beat him. Really? If he can't even beat Floyd Mayweather at his fifth weight class, when Floyd was a grandpa at 36 years old, how the hell he gonna beat pretty boy Floyd that was knocking out everybody that was a knockout puncher in his prom at 130 pounds when Floyd was 23 and smoked Corrales or 24 and smoked Corrales. That version of Floyd Mayweather that's the same size as Canelo, that's the same age as Canelo, will knock Canelo out within three rounds. It won't go past the fourth round. But these decaps want to live in the field. I mean, beat him like Gotti. Yep, beat him like Gotti. My favorite thing is when they say, Andre, who is he beat? Carlo, who is he beat? Devin, who is he beat? And I'm like, to me, that should be that should be easy work for you then. It's all true. He ain't beat nobody. Sign up. Take a fight. Yeah, and they all, money fuck, again. Make 40 million. Because I mean, make 40 million. Yeah. They didn't say who Maccabi beat, though. They didn't say who, no. who Rocky Fielding beat. They didn't say who Albini beat. Canelo Alvarez' ticket to fame was losing to Floyd Mayweather. After he lost right. to Floyd Mayweather every single minute of every single round, he lost to little old Floyd. When Canelo was a bully in his prom, almost 50 fights in, a unified champion, he lost to Floyd Mayweather. That was his ticket to fame. Canelo, all he's known for is for losing. Exactly. I wanted to make two points on that with the Canelo thing. When I first heard of Canelo, everybody was talking about he was a killer. My boy, who was an avid boxer fan, was telling me, like, man, I don't want Floyd to fight him. He was scared for Floyd. He was a straight killer. He went through Mosley, did his thing. And a lot of people was writing Floyd off in that fight. It was easy work. I mean, probably the easiest work he had. I don't know. It was, it was easy work. And ever since that time, it seemed like they made sure that we going to make sure that Canelo never loses like that again. And all the other fighters like him that come after will avoid any fighter that looks or even mimic some style of that Mayweather style. And that's what I think I see. Of course. And it reminds me of wrestling. I don't know if you used to watch wrestling, but they used to have a thing called jobbers. They'd make these guys like Hogan and them beat weak dudes to make them look raw so that they can just keep the, the cast going. Meanwhile, they would never fight the real people that people wanted to see them fight. That was even in, in a fake situation. So I see that happening in boxing. And I definitely feel what you're saying with I mean, Canelo. He was a killer, but all of a sudden now when Floyd beat him, he was a baby. He's a baby yeah, he now baby. when Floyd beat him. So Man. I'm like, well, he was a killer at first. Let me say this. Floyd talked about it because, see, the thing is they try to flip the script. We know young killers supposed to be the old dogs. In the sport of boxing, 99% of the time, the younger fighter beats the older vet. As you see on the list, Tio at 23 beat Lomachenko. Muhammad Ali beat Sonny Liston. Muhammad Ali, only at 22 years old, beat the Mike Tyson of his time, Sonny Liston. We saw what Larry Holmes did to Muhammad Ali. We saw what little bitty Hacha yeah. Camacho did to Sugar Ray Leonard when Sugar Ray was 36 or around that age, right? We seen what the young killers do to the old dogs. We seen what Mike Tyson did to Larry Holmes. Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet at 21 years old, the undisputed champion of the world at 22. 
Canelo Alvarez was almost 50 and 0. He was 23 years old. He had eight years experience as a pro. He was in his bully weight division. Floyd Mayweather was 36 years old. And guess what? Floyd Mayweather already moved up five weight divisions. Canelo thought he was gonna walk right through him and Floyd Mayweather popped that cherry. And ever since Floyd Mayweather popped that cherry, Canelo Alvarez created the NBF League in the sport of boxing. Canelo is the pioneer of the NBF, the No Black Fighters Witness Protection Organization. That's what Canelo will be remembered for. A right. fake champion that give up his title. A duck on steroids. That's who Canelo will be remembered for. Right. Like you said, he avoids all the black undefeated American fighters because that's the style that beat him. They say, oh, he improved. Against who? B and C level right. European fighters that can't <laughs> fight? Not against the best. Right. You can't say you're the fastest man in the world, but you only race against white people. The same writers out here, they appraise Canelo. Um, you got you got so many young champions. Come over here. They are overlooked guys. Come on, come on up here. Come on. Hammer. They're overlooked guys. They're overlooked guys like you. Unbelievable fighters. One of the best fighters in the sport of boxing today. One of the best. They are overlooked guys like you. Little young kid right here, they'll overlook him. It, but you, you can take a guy like Canelo, this guy can do, um, he can pick and choose who he want to fight. Man, and I'm going to tell you the truth about Canelo. Fucking easy, man. It can't walk. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> y'all sitting up here, y'all praising this dude. This dude was nothing. I was almost 40 years old when I, when I cooked this dude. Easy. <laughs> y'all always disrespecting our fighters.